Hello and welcome to A Bit of Random. Uh, we are going to be doing another video where we're going to be trying out some uh, one of these Universal Yum boxes. We don't know where we're going yet. Uh, you probably already know because of the whole description down below where the like button exists. Yeah, can you hit the like button and make sure to hit the bell so that you get notified of our new videos. Whoa, when they careful. Come out. <laughs> careful. <laughs> I'm just excited to see where we're going. Yeah, where are we going? Okay. Italy. Italy. Yes. We're going to Italy. Oh, we got a sticker. It Ooh. says, greetings from Italy, birthplace of the world's most valuable painting. It's been stolen at least once or twice. Has I know it? it was stolen once. Has it? Yeah. There's some cool videos about the Mona Lisa. Some and all kinds of crazy stuff. Anyways, go ahead. And then the coupon for giving Universal Yums for somebody for... Christmas, Ooh. the holidays. Ooh. That's I a great you, present. I bet you could click a link down there and probably have that in there. That's great. Yeah, yeah. I bet you. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we're going to Italy. Did you oh, want to so explain? This is a map of Italy, and it says little facts in different little areas about Italy. So, like, Rome is ancient Romans purposefully flooded the Colosseum to stage mock naval battles. I've heard that. Really? Yeah, I've heard that. Okay. Coliseum. Interesting. Crazy. So then on the other side is the Yum scoreboard, and we get to rate all of the things in the box. Jeez. So it looks like there's some tasty stuff. So As we go through this, she'll read off a little bit about it, learn about these products that we're trying, and uh, we'll let you know if we like them or think they're terrible. Off we go to Italy. So explore Italy. You know, the breathtaking art, trend-setting fashion, and mouth-watering cuisine. They are known for that. Now get ready to, to discover Italy's mind-blowing yums. I'm ready. It gives us a couple stats, facts. Italy in 60 seconds, what you might not know. Make a unique fettuccine and a recipe for some fettuccine with chocolate and sage butter. Okay. Interesting. Okay. There is a trivia trivia train to take some stuff. And then it says start here and it shares uh, the first thing that we're going to try, oh, which no. is Italian black truffle potato <laughs> chips. So I think this is it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's keep an open mind here about fungus. Italy's world famous truffles now in a chip. Italy didn't get its reputation as a global food capital for nothing. How does it smell? Is that what you'd expect? <laughs> the proof is in the pizza, the pasta, and even the potato chips. That's why we're kicking off our Italian adventure with these. Not with pineapple. Pineapple? Yeah. For Italy? On the pizza? Yeah, they, they love that kind of thing around there. Oh, what? What's so special about these potato chips, you ask? The answer lies in the flavor. Black truffle, prized for their earthy tang. These gourmet fungi are basically Italy's version of buried treasure. No, really, huh. they're grown underground. Yeah, they use pigs to find them. Locals spend hours scouring forests with trains, trained dogs, dogs in the too. hopes that they'll sniff some out. All the effort is worth it, as they're one of the most valuable foods in all of Italy. A 3.3 pound one from Tuscany once sold for $330,000. Shenanigans. Fortunately, you don't need trained dogs or over a quarter million dollars to discover Italy's most highly coveted flavor. You just need to open the bag, dig in, and kick our delicious Italian adventure into high gear. Let's see how Fredo potato chips with truffles. So, is there truffle like. It's truffle oil, I think is what it is. Is it? Yeah. Well, I got like two chips in one. Yeah. Winning. Oh. Oh. I don't like it. Nope. 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 Mm -mm. Um, nope. I don't like it. Mm -mm. No, it's got... Are you getting that chemical? No. Thing? I don't, I don't That's what I get. But... I don't know. Fungus always just has this chemical that I like. I'm aware of it's weird. Mm, I don't like that. Nope. Nope. Done with those. I'm gonna say that's the worst. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have 12 <laughs> items to go. Uh, okay, so truffle oil. No, I did not need that in my life. Um, how do you feel about it? I did not need mm -hmm. that. 
in my life. So, and she likes fungus. So on the scoreboard, we get to rate everything either delicious, excellent, just wow, or okay, or I did not need this in my life. And that, <laughs> why did they start us with that? I why did not they need do that. that? <laughs> well, you know what? On the other hand, I'm happy. Because occasionally I want something that I hate to show up in these things. Yeah, that's not very good. And there it is. Oh, next. Oh, wait, no, that's the same thing. I was reading this wrong. Oh, you're about to say truffle truffle <laughs> sandwiches? <laughs> truffle potato truffle. <laughs> okay. Okay, next. Oh, you're going to like this. The next we go to fizzy lemon candy. This that is sounds probably good. That's bag. probably the universal yum bag, right? The yum bag. You get one of these and, well... We've had, this is our third one, and they all seem to come with this. A yum bag for, like, smaller items to hold them all together. So this is a fizzy lemon candy. Okay. It's like Sprite in a hard candy. Huh. Italians are... Sell, sell soda, right? Yeah, yeah sell soda. Perfect. Fizz whizzes. Seriously, at restaurants in Italy, every table gets a bottle of fizzy water or aqu aqua frizzante. You have to specifically ask for non frizzante to get still water. Apparently, Germany is the same way. I don't know if that's true or not, but mm -hmm. mineral water. When, when we go there. Yeah. Okay. But that's what you want when you want normal water. In local markets, shelves overflow with an endless variety of seltzer flavors, not to mention beloved soft drinks like lemon gazoza and orange or aranciata. And let's not forget Prosecco. So considering the local fizz fascination, this fizzy lemon candy makes a lot of sense and will make you feel super, super bubbly. Ooh. I've got no fizz yet, but it's got great lemon flavor. You might wind up advancing some of this a little bit. <laughs> That's gonna take forever. I'm gonna keep working on this for a while. We'll let you know. <laughs> it tastes like a lemon rind. That's what it tastes like. It's delicious. There's a, it's good. Yeah, it's got a real got lemon oil to it. I'm not a huge, like, hard candy fan, but... I got some fizz coming. Mmm. Ooh! I really like these. Mm. And what is it? They've got those, uh, was it Zots? Zots. It's similar to Zot, but mm -hmm. this actually tastes more like a real lemon. Mm -hmm. And it's bigger. Definitely bigger. Yeah, and the uh, the fizz isn't as aggressive as Zots. Yeah. It's just kind of, like, slowly kind of... Slowly coming out? Slowly bubbling out the ends the way that Zots tend to. I think it was good. Yeah, no, I love these. These are great. Ooh. As it turns out, <laughs> the filling stuff, when it just sticks to the back of your throat, might burn a little bit. Ooh. That's, ooh, that's a very lemony mm -hmm. flavor right there. I want to suck all the fizzy lemon stuff out. I already did. <gasps> yeah, those are good, though. They're good. I like that. Yeah, it's like a real lemon-flavored candy instead of a, you know, artificial Mm -hmm, very much so. Mm -hmm. I'm like <laughs> aggressively <laughs> sucking out of this in my mouth. <laughs> Woo! More fits. Yeah, it's Woo! really good. Woo! Well done, Italy. That was good candy. Good job. Mm. So we went from bad to good, right? Yeah, yeah. That that got that truffle out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Smiles all around. Nope, that's not it. That's it. Mm hmm Taralini? What is this? Lemon and pepper. Yeah. It's Italy's most iconic snack with a kick. Okay, never heard of it. Walk down a U.S. snack aisle and you'll see chips on chips on chips. The same is true in Italy except with Tarali. These crunchy bread spirals are an Italian go-to, available in countless flavors. We're not exaggerating. When putting together this box, we tried rosemary, coffee, and even egg varieties before we fell in love with those lemon and pepper one. With sweet citrus and a kind of, and a kick of cracked pepper, this Tarali is totally top notch. They're like, they feel really dense. Oh, they do. They're, They're really kind of like dense. heavy. They feel how heavy the whole bag is. Interesting. It's like really heavy. It's not like a potato chip. Mm-mm. Oh, almost pretzely, but not as crunchy. Very bready. Like crumbly bready. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It seems like this would actually go with seafood really well. Interesting. Um mm. okay. awesome flavor. 
the weird texture. Mm -hmm. Very weird texture. It's like it's like a sandcastle melting in your mouth. You know what I'm talking about? Does that make sense? Without all the crunching. Hmm. But yeah, no, this this almost tastes like the flavor of something that you'd have like. The flavor's good. Oh, it's very good. Very good. It reminds me of like kettle chips. It just it reminds I me of eating flavor. seafood. It's like a breading you would put on a seafood of some kind. Hmm. But it's very, this is very like thick. Mm-hmm. I actually really like it a lot. It's very good. Do you? Mm-hmm. No, I think it's really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to write that as... It's okay. So I've had bad, good, okay. Mm -hmm. well, I like that a lot. Hmm. Right. Something you should know about me is I love lemon. A lot. A lot. A whole lot. Well, guess what? The next thing is ketchup potato chips. It sounds Canadian. An extra crispy take on the classic condiment. I think that's it. 30 years ago, potato chips were scorned in Italy. Without the traditional appeal of tarali or biscotti, they had zero footing in the snack market until best friends Alfredo Moratti and Andrea Romano came along. With the mission of bringing chips to Italy, they started their business, Amica, producing both traditional and totally new ones like ketchup. Before we tell you if they succeeded or not, we think you should try a chip or two. Okay, you've had some great news. Amica? You've just tasted the current number one chip brand in Italy. Oh good, well, because these were also Amica. <laughs> and these are the worst chips I've ever eaten in my life. Okay. So, let's see how this goes. Ketchup sounds like a much better flavor. Well, it's the current number one chip brand. Well, chip brand. Brand, well. Well, and that's the so, brand. So they're the Lay's of, uh, of Italy. This is a different what? bag. Like, there's, like, the way they folded it. Have Can you we... had ketchup chips before? Yes. From Canada. When? Wait. A buddy of mine growing up had a couple of hockey players that lived at their house. Cool. Okay. Um, and they love these kinds of things. That is tangy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really sweet ketchup. Yeah, these are heavily ketchup flavored. Um, mm -hmm. But it's a really sweet ketchup, but there's also like a lot of acidity at the beginning. I don't like this. Like it really felt like being stabbed in your tongue with uh, vinegar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like those. I, like I wouldn't. Ketchup. I wouldn't purposely buy them. Because there's plenty of other chips I'd rather eat. But I'll finish this bag. Really? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. I love tomatoes. I like ketchup, but mm -hmm. I don't like this. Yeah, they're okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on. We're going to now have orange zest carrot cake, babe. Carrot. Oh, I love carrot cake. It's orange zest carrot cake. I can only imagine makes it even better. Is that this? It looks like there's two of them in here. Oh, what? Let's just only have one. Okay, yeah. What? Marvelous moist carrot cake with citrus zing. You're probably familiar with carrot cake. Well, really, just one version of carrot cake, loaded with spices and nuts and topped with cream cheese frosting. But there is Italian-style carrot cake, free of all the bells and whistles. Italy, Italy's takes highlights the natural sweetness of the carrots with just a dash of orange zest. Looking super fluffy. Get ready to I discover a whole new kind of carrot cake craving. Interesting. So we're going to be addicted to these things and we're not going to be able to get our hands on them anymore? Is that what's going on? Oh, sounds about right. Oh, this is very Twinkie-ish. Yeah, it's very soft, very much a sponge cake. Hmm. Nothing like a Twinkie. This Nothing. is delicious. I think definitely, it's good. definitely orange zest in there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Where's the carrot? Oh, I don't taste any carrot. So. Hmm. They make carrot cake taste really good by making it an orange flavored cake. It is very orange flavored. Mm -hmm. um, it's like orange I, oil. I like the cakiness of it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's really light. You finished yours quick. Oh, I wrecked it. It's delicious. That's good. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think not, what? Nine out of ten would eat that again? I will for sure eat this again mm -hmm. with coffee yeah, tomorrow morning. Right? We got another one. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm, that's good. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would eat that. I like that. I, I like would that like a lot. chow that down. That's a smiley face. That's a delicious, excellent, just wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. I missed the flavor already. Well, so far, that's sitting at the favorite yum spot. Um, we already know what number one's at. Uh, okay, so we got these Novi. Hazelnut milk chocolate bar. Hazelnut is popular the world around, it seems. Fall in love with Italy's number one chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. If we're talking hazelnuts, there's no better place in the world to go than Piedmont region of northern Italy. The native hazelnuts are prized for their excellence. They're smaller, sweeter, and nuttier than those grown in Turkey or the United States. Ooh. That might explain why this rich chocolate bar filled to the brim with roasted Piedmont hazelnuts is the top selling chocolate bar in Italy and why we're fully addicted to it. All right, fair enough. Oh my. Ooh, yeah, it's very nautical. Oh. Oh, so it's, it's, it's like a harder, okay. Yeah. There's, there's three chunks. Oh, that's it? Yep. Mm. So. Mm. Mm. Good, huh? I like this already. Nice. Mm-hmm. 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 That's good. That chocolate is very creamy. And then and then at the end you get like a burst of hazelnut. Very good. That is really good. Very like decadent, like luxurious decadent, right? Yeah, like the real Mm -hmm. It's like a real silky chocolate mm -hmm. with a, it seems a very crunchy nut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, like as far as hazelnuts mm -hmm. go, it's like really crunchy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. Eat that again. We still have a, what, we still there? have a half a piece. Mm -hmm. We'll have to fight for it. All right, next. Oh yeah. Let's make wow. This. That was number six. So now we're on to number seven out of 12. All right, now we are having Italian amaretini. All right. The tastiest almond cookie in all of Italy. This guy here? Uh, yeah. Just almond cookies, yep. They feel really crispy. Ready for the world's tastiest love story? Mm -hmm. The tale behind these classic... Uh -huh. <laughs> the tale behind these classic cookies begins in 1719... Sarano, when a young couple overheard that a cardinal from Milan was visiting their church. Wanting to prepare, prepare him a treat, they improvised a cookie recipe using just the apricot kernels, sugar, and egg whites they had on hand. The cardinal loved them so much, he blessed the couple to a long, happy union. Not only did they stay happily hitched, their cookies went on to become an Italian icon. The things smell freaking awesome. So, are you feeling the love? Mm. Better yet, are you tasting? There's a bunch of them in here, too. Oh, there is a bunch of them. This remind me of, um, like, what's that cereal cookie, cookie crisp? <laughs> <laughs> They're not uh, as sweet as cookie crisp. The aftertaste isn't as good as the mm -hmm. up front. Mm, almond. There's the almond. Very ama ready. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll eat these. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are good. These would go really good with coffee. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, these are easy to eat. No, mm. those are good. Those are good. Very crunchy. Very mm -hmm. crunchy. I'd eat that again. I will. We got a ton of them. <laughs> Put some milk over it. <laughs> Just make them a cereal. Why not? <laughs> Now I think this is in the bag. We're having tiramisu cream milk chocolate balls. There's actually a lot in this bag. Is there? Like, yeah. The tiramisu ones. Tiramisu cream milk chocolate balls. The beloved dessert just got even more luscious. Every modern Italian restaurant serves tiramisu. But in the early 1960s, it was only served by one. La Bacheri in Treviso. According to legend owner Ada Camp. Bao was recovering from childbirth when she asked the pastry chef to whip up a pick-me-up. So he combined lady fingers, mascarpone cheese, and cocoa powder, creating tiramisu, which literally means pick-me-up. Really? I love tiramisu. I don't see how it would wake me up in any way, though. Wake you up? Like pick-me-up? Pick I generally think of a pick-me-up like a cup of coffee is a pick-me-up. Oh, well, something like a nice treat, like to make your day better. That's yeah, a sure. Yeah, put you in a better mood. The flavor combination became an overnight icon, which you'll get to taste in this luxurious chocolate filled with coffee infused there it cocoa is. cream. There's the pick me up in there. 
Oh, it's just a little round. Yeah, it's two formed balls, ball. so there's definitely something in the center because it's fused together. Hmm. Hmm. Tastes like like alcohol, like liquor. Yeah, what is that? Oh, it's delicious. Think so? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, coffee? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. We're having a very different experience right now. Mm, mm -hmm. I don't like it. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like it. Mmm. It's so good. Mm-mm. Mmm. Very chocolatey. It's like coating my whole mouth. It's really chemical-y to me. Yeah. Mmm. That's delicious. I don't like that at all. Mmm. It still doesn't doesn't equate to these. These are terrible. Uh, but yeah, no, I didn't need that in my life. Oh, I would eat a bunch of those. Mhm, mm that was delicious. You didn't need that in your life, really? Uh uh, uh uh. No, I didn't like that. that you seem like you were really enjoying it. I'm going like I'm delicious. confused. I'm confused. It's weird how many things that we both love and how many things we both just are like completely. Mm. And just screaming on his first food. Those? That was it. That was it. Bummer. That was it. Sorry. Bummer. I'd have given you mine. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. It didn't even taste like candy to me. Very chocolatey. Mm -mm. I'm still tasting it. That would have been good with coffee. <laughs> I don't think so. Mm. Well, no, you know, it would, coffee would have made it better. Yeah. Mm. But only because whatever to get this flavor out of my mouth. Mm. We're going to have tomato and oregano bruschetta. Your scrum brus bruschetta? Bruschetta, bruschetta, I don't know. Your scrumptious ticket to Rome. Locals will tell you that the country's favorite crunchy bread, bruschetta, bruschetta, is a tradition as old as Rome itself. They're not exaggerating. Back in ancient Rome, olive growers would bring their harvest to a local press and sample their fresh olive oil on a slice of crispy bread. Modern folks top bruschetta with everything from pesto to salami to our favorite, fresh tomato and oregano. Hmm. So, ready to crunch into this 2,000-year-old tradition? The oh. little mini, mini bagel pizzas. What? Actually, they look like giant bagel. Like no, English muffins. Doesn't make sense either. Huh. Yeah, I think bruschetta, I think that's what Alton Brown says. Not that he's Italian, but... Hmm. Hmm. Very different than what we just had. Mmm. It tastes the regular. Mm-hmm. I like the croutoniness of it. Mm-hmm. I mean, how are you supposed to eat this? Is this literally you're supposed to just like eat them like chips? It seems like it should go with something. Mm-hmm. I guess maybe on like a side of some pasta or something. Yeah, that's a lot of carbs. Well, yeah, if you're yeah. Um, I don't know Italy, how right? you'd eat this. Maybe with a salad? Yeah, it doesn't seem like something you're supposed to just like eat as is. It's, it seems like it should be paired with something. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess kind of maybe crunching it up a little bit, throwing it on a salad could be really good. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Or like, what kind of meat? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay. I mean. Hmm. It's good. It's just not a by itself kind of thing. They're perfect to crunch as a snack or to enrich your... It's like somebody tried to turn like a bagel bite into a chip. Mm. <laughs> Don't they have bagel bite chips? I'm sure they do. I mm, they do. Well, but... this is America, I would think. Yeah. We've got all the weird stuff. Well, that's not true. Everybody else has a bunch of weird stuff, too. I'm okay. Yeah. It's all right. I really feel like, or even maybe like with a salad, it would be good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it, they're good. They're just... I wouldn't just sit and crunch on a bag of them. Probably not, unless there was nothing else to eat and I was really hungry. I mean, like, do you want a pile of toast? Oh, it was very toasty. Yeah, it's like a big pile of toast with some... It was very toasty. With mm -hmm. some oregano and... But maybe a little thicker toast. Tomato on it. Not like yeah. regular sliced bread toast, but... Now, right. we're moving on to the very best of Italy. Raspberry and almond dark chocolate bar. Fresh, fresh raspberries add a touch of sweetness. Italians love dark chocolate, but don't take our word for it. Look at the numbers. On average, Italians buy 12.5 million tons of dark chocolate a year and just under 4.5 million tons of milk chocolate. 
So why is dark chocolate so popular? It's delicious. For that, we don't need to provide any numbers, just the yum in front of you. With raspberry sweetness and crunchy almond nuttiness, it's by far the most effective and decadent way to answer that question. Decent size. Decent size bar they mm. gave us here too. It this seems is, like there's like a that, lot in there. Well, this seems like the same design that was on the. I think it was probably the same brand. Uh, what was it? What was that thing called? Novi. Novi. Is this on it? It is. Yeah. Oh, uh huh. This other one here. Mm -hmm. Apparently, there it's like one of their more popular chocolatiers, right? Or the best one. Dark chocolate. This is offensive to say they're Nestle. <laughs> what? Because well, Nestle's like they're all right. Cadbury's better. Hmm. There's a raspberry. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. And it's like actual chunks of raspberry, like little uh red little pieces. Little red little red pieces in there. Like the each hmm. individual little raspberry balls. Yeah, it's not yeah. Mm-hmm. Not very sweet. Mm -mm. But I like I like dark chocolate. Mm hmm I like the more bitter. Um it's okay. So I like that. We're sitting down eating a you know, chocolate bar. That's what you're into. It's good. That's what you're into. Cranberry Frilletti. Baked fresh with real Italian cranberries. It's like a biscuit. Now for a crunchy berry concoction. Many countries prefer their cookies soft and chewy, but Italy is a huge exception. Why are crumbly cookies the local go-to? Because they're all the better for dunking any country's favorite drinks. Coffee. Coffee. Of course. Wine. Oh. And even milk. Before you dig into these crunchy cookies, we recommend you pour yourself a drink. Whatever you choose to dunk them in, these are best enjoyed the Italian way. Okay. There's the milk. Cranberry froletti. One for you. Don't you gross, you touched that one. Okay. They do look like little cookies. Dunk them. A bit of a dunk in here. Mmm. They need a little more dunking. They be submerged longer. Mm -hmm. They're good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely, you definitely need milk. Mm. Yeah, just eating these without any kind of beverage would be. It would just be sad. Mmm. Those are good. Those are good. We should save some of these for coffee. And for the coffee uh, date in the morning? Mm hmm. All right. Buy these. They're delicious. Can we buy them? I don't know. The Italians can. Mm. They probably don't need my word for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Mm -hmm. Sweet. But like shortbread sweet. Mm -hmm. mm, I want to sit, please. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, those I'll, are good. I'll take those as a... Mm -hmm. Delicious. Excellent. Just wow. Just wow. Yep. Good. I like them. Last item. Milk chocolate with strawberry pop rocks. Choco boon. Complete with luxurious Italian cream. The strawberries in the town of Nemi are anything but, ordinor but ordinary. They're volcanic. Grown in a volcanic crater where sunlight is ample and wind is minimal, the berries are plumper and juicier than those grown anywhere else in Italy. Cool, huh? Here's something even cooler. These lux luscious milk chocolate truffles with explosive strawberry pop rocks, they'll take volcanic strawberry to a level even Nemi can't achieve. Pop rocks, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just hoping these are better than those tiramisu oh, things. Oh, these are like the round, just like the tiramisu ones. Are these the same company? Uh, I think so, maybe. Okay. They were in the Universal Yum bag together. Keep crunching on pop rocks. I'm not. There it is. I'm just chewing on the pop rocks. It's a real mild. Mm -hmm. pop rock. Very, Very mild. rich chocolate. Mm-hmm. It's got like a. Mm -hmm. you know, a mm -hmm. real thick. Mm -hmm. Chocolate cream or ganache or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Wow, that pop rock with the chocolate is different. Yeah, and the pop rock gets more and more intense as you go. It was not intense. Not yours isn't. Not Mine intense. Is. Yeah, that's pretty good. All covered my mouth, my teeth, my tongue. Yeah, it was good. Mmm. 
That was a nice way to end. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. That was nice. It definitely says that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Excellent. Wow. Um, what was your favorite? Mm, I think the tiramisu one. Interesting. Delicious. So you like the tiramisu. Mm-hmm. And I think for me, really, those uh, those lemon candies. Those... Oh, the Sprite kind of candies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the kind of like upscale Zot. Yeah, those are good. I mm -hmm. really like those. Those are my favorite. What was, mm -hmm. your, what was the worst one for you? Um, the truffle one. Yeah, weird. Or the ketchup, but I think the truffle one for sure. <laughs> ketchup is pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> See, for me, the ketchup would be the weirdest one in there. Mm, yeah, the but the, the, the truffles, hands down, the worst. Hands down, like it's not even it, a competition. It was bad. Terrible. Yeah. Don't get these. Unless you really love truffles, these are probably a bad idea. But all right. Well, thanks again for coming along on this adventure with us. We're uh, waiting to find the next one we're going to go to. There's a chance that we might have some pocky chips coming soon. That'll be a shorter video i imagine or we'll just be freaking out for a good 20 minutes i hope not we'll see what happens <laughs> it should be a good time anyways uh like and subscribe below if you are interested hit the bell if you want to see from us again and uh comment below uh if you've ever tried any of these things or if there's any one that you would want to try the most and uh we'll see you next time bye